Welcome, Edgar, and it's so fascinating that we have so many Filipinos migrate to around the world, or just USA, that mm -hmm. become successful. So today, I was like crispy crunchy. It's just like I remember, you know, the, uh, what is the name of that um, movie, uh, Crusty Crunch? Uh -huh. uh, what is that cartoon's character under the sea? <laughs> Oh, Crab. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is crunchy crispy, crab. Crunchy crispy crab. crunchy. But actually, I did try. Angel told me, Ate, I want to introduce you to the Filipino. But when I saw his mm. wife, the Filipino restaurant, he said, they have the best um, fried chicken. Oh, wow. Because I said, what you guys want? You want KFC? Yeah. You want this? You want that? He said, no, Ate. So he, she actually turned around and uh -huh. went to that uh, crispy crunchy. Uh, yeah, that's a beautiful box, actually. Crisp, crispy, crunchy. Yeah, and what's the location? Oh, it's in um, 9010 uh -huh. West Flamingo Road, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89147. So it's on the west side of okay. Las Vegas. Well, before okay. anything else, Mark, I'm so sorry to uh -huh. interrupt you. Uh, I just want to know, when did you migrate in the USA? And before then, what do you do? Okay, um, I migrated way back 2006. 2006? Yeah. With the whole family? With the whole family. Why so, Vegas? Um, initially, it was in L.A. Mm -hmm. It's just in L.A. It's really so congested. And mm -hmm. a lot of, I would say, it's, it's a fast-paced city. So mm -hmm. I just would like to um, try to locate in the map, which in the United States, which is the best location mm -hmm. and i saw the potential of las vegas mm -hmm. nevada so mm -hmm. so i tried opening the the lab also here so mm -hmm. from from la i i was there for a year and then i moved to las vegas and opened an optical lab too with mm -hmm. my brother so um we make glasses it's around 200 pairs of glasses a day we supply mm -hmm. the doctors mm -hmm. we supply um i would say i have also an internet website that mm. um, uh, my niche is more on the sunglass uh, fishing glasses mm. Mm. so um, it's just what happened after um, I would say from 2006 to 2012 we mm. sold it out to uh, the big companies because you know here in the US uh, uh, some big companies wants to really really mm -hmm. monopolize right. the control the market control yeah. the market so they try to get real i mean uh manipulate of getting us out of getting the insurances mm -hmm. so yeah. we, we rather sell it yeah. to them rather than um holding it because right. they're gonna steal it out uh, anyway right mm -hmm. so is that when you started focusing more on the restaurant or? yeah before mm -hmm. focusing on the restaurant Wait. then so you are in opto, 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 optical. Optometry, optical, and uh -huh. then why did you decide to divert yourself having a restaurant, gasoline station, and how did you come up with this name, Crispy Crunchy Chicken? Chicken. Yeah, so um, on 2015, uh, mm -hmm. I decided to go back to my old passion, my mm -hmm. old love. Mm -hmm. which is the gas station mm -hmm. because in the Philippines I was I was a gasoline <coughs> dealer distributor and contractor mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the Philippines uh, for 25 years mm -hmm. so I know the the business and so forth so that's why I said oh why don't I just go back to my 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 previous lab yes mm -hmm. so I went back to the gas station business mm -hmm. and I was so fortunate because just imagine a migrant from another country coming into Vegas mm -hmm. and I mean you don't have any resources you know don't have mm -hmm. any network yeah mm -hmm. but I was able to succeed mm -hmm. Wow so and I got the gas station I bought the property it's in the first one that is and did you build it from the ground up no or I did just you buy an existing I, I, mm -hmm. I bought the existing one and just uh, I would say make it better mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there's a car wash so there's a lot of ancillary businesses mm -hmm. inside that compound. Right. Mm -hmm. So and then I decided, oh, another ancillary business that I might 
be uh, I might put in, which is the crispy crunchy chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you sell crispy crunchy chicken in the in, gas station. Inside the gas station. Okay. It's so, pretty cool actually. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Good. Come on in. Let me show you the crispy crunchy. What is so good about this? Because when you bite it, it's really good. I mean. Yeah, so they're asking me, did you get it for free? I said, no, I pay for it. We have to support this small <laughs> business, right? Yes. It's actually better than uh, any chicken out there. Uh, church chicken, this is much better than church chicken, actually. Because on the church chicken, they have more flour than uh, on this one, Mark. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to take this with you when you did. It's, it's actually <laughs> really good. Oh, sorry. Okay. So there you go. So if you want to try to eat chicken, I know Filipino loves to eat chicken. So crispy, crunchy chicken. Crunchy, crispy, crunchy chicken. Yeah, the good thing on our chicken is marinated to the bone. Mm -hmm. yes. So what it means is comparing it to other, I would say, multinational uh, chicken, they just marinate it. I mean, not on marinate the it. It's only on, on the, the surface, surface, on the breading. So you don't get the flavor, the flavor in, in, inside. inside the meat. Yeah, the meat. Mine, our chicken are fresh. It's not frozen. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's injected inside uh -huh. the chicken, oh, the, wow. the marination. Really yes, I so can that see makes it, it taste it. Yeah, so yeah. that makes it totally different. Yeah. Because any food that is fresh, mm -hmm. marinated, oh, yeah. of course, no question asked. Yeah. It's going to be the best. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we nice. can film that. We will film live there or taping it, and then we can use the commercial. Yeah, oh, thanks. So, it's really good to get to try And so it. this franchise started inside the gas station, and then you have your first location outside the gas station on Flamingo. Yeah, that's the, the one in Flamingo. And this is 9010 West Flamingo, corner of... What's across street? Less, I mean, that's going to be El Capitan. El Capitan, El Capitan. And corner El Capitan in oh, Flamingo, okay. yes. Yeah, yeah, in so the no, west side. Nice. Sunoco gas, gas station. station. Inside the Sunoco gas yeah. station. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. So if you're looking to eat fried chicken better than any uh, fried chicken out there, come check it out. Cris crispy, crunchy chicken, 9010 West Flamingo, corner of El Capitan and Flamingo. Yeah, and fill up your tank. <laughs> <laughs> Mention the name Ariel Live TV or Ariel, Live, Ariel and Mark TV so you can get the discount or family discount, of course. Mm -hmm. Let's support our Kababayan. So how many gasoline stations do you have now? Currently, I got two. Um, the other one is in Moapa, mm -hmm. in Nevada. So it's an hour drive from, mm -hmm. from I mean, here it's going to be around 40, 40 minutes yes. drive because mm -hmm. it's part on the north, right. north side mm -hmm. already. So um, it's um, the exit 90, yeah, exit 90 going to Utah. Mm -hmm. So it's just an hour drive. Right, just so past yeah, Valley of Fire. Yeah, past Valley of Fire, and mm -hmm. it's a Moapa. Arco AMPM, so it, it's huge, and uh, we are also expanding and putting up a, a truck stop there, and it's going to be done possibly by September of this year, yeah. and then we have also a motel. Okay, now can you get crispy, crunchy chicken at this location? No, no, no. no they don't. Arco doesn't allow it, huh? Um, it, yeah, it's a little bit. Different. Yeah, you know, because Arco is a franchise. Right. Yeah. So it's well, a little bit more. We control. can open it. Let's open. <laughs> Well, Hopefully. we're in. Well, let's open it. But anyway, we will go on break because my co-host will be leaving soon. Once again, I will be right back. Thank you. Club. Join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Call 1 8333 Bitcoin. That's right, 1 8333 Bitcoin. To get more information, go to our website, travelnow777.com. Travelnow777.com. Call now. Attention, all travelers that love Hawaii. Crunchy. I'm more interested of this cris crispy, crunch crunchy yeah. chicken. <laughs> but you know what? People eat 24 hours, correct? Mm -hmm. So if you let them try and taste this, it's really different. I mean, this is good thing also for the children. We can actually oh, yeah. offer this to school. You know, I mean, 
if you can get a big contract, it's healthy because you know you enjoy the taste of mm -hmm. it because it's not much like imagine you eat that church chicken all you eat is like the flour and yeah. it's like you don't enjoy it so hard and this one is like when you bite it it's really tastes mm -hmm. good so lots get, of flavor you want to try it we should try it come on and <laughs> try it. taste it sure give you mine <laughs> Let, let's let's show how mark will try and taste it okay give me some napkins I already eat two, so you know me, I like bone oh. chicken. Okay, we'll take one, one bite for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> You'll like it, it's so good. Okay, let's try to get... I know you don't like the, the, the skin. See, very nice, crispy. Mmm, very nice, crispy and crunchy. Tell me mm. first what that taste. Mmm, very good. What do you think? Better than uh, Very church flavorful. chicken, mm -hmm. better than... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is our... Uh, the bread. The, the biscuit. The mm. biscuit. So. These are very unique as well. Yeah. Oh, that, I love this one. Uh, how do you the, call this? The, the wedges. Yeah, the, the, the wedges. Fries, yeah. The fries is so good. So wedges, these are yeah. unique also, unique yeah. recipe. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm. And Very then the cool. biscuits are not dry. It's it's really it's mm -hmm. it's uh, moist. Moist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sis. Hmm. Very nice. It's buttery and honey. Yeah, or? honey mm -hmm. buttered mm -hmm. biscuit. Do you know we always have a meeting? They have seven clinic or eight clinic and they always have a meeting every day mm -hmm. oh, so that's, yeah that's so nice. actually uh i mean i enjoy i said okay let's try so i eat i was hungry mm -hmm. <laughs> so i eat two and very it's so delicious good. yeah it's, okay, so, good. Okay. it's mm -hmm. so good so who come up with the recipe um honestly this recipe is a louisiana uh style, style chicken so mm -hmm. um the the good thing on this is um the the what do you call this the marination is inside the chicken and of course the breading there's also a cajun flavor of the cajun mm -hmm. on the on the mm -hmm. on the the breading mm -hmm. so we usually we don't put a lot of flour and mm -hmm. you know <coughs> and a lot of cajun so it's it's spicy but not hot. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yes, that's a I good like thing. It. Yeah, that's a good thing too. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like Mark. He doesn't eat uh, hot and spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's so, having. So you know, it's 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 for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's really mild. Not really mild. It's there's a there's a taste of it, but you can even say mm -hmm. there's a spice. How do you taste it? Mm -hmm. There's no spice, right? No, it's not hot, but you can taste the spice. spice yeah. It's spicy. But not mm. hot, hot, spicy. spicy yeah. mm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. so are you not planning to franchise mm. this? Oh, no. It's, it's, this one is, um, we commission it, so it's, it's not really a franchise for now. For now. Yeah. In the future. Yeah, hopefully. <coughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I mean, what else besides the gasoline station and the Crispy crunchy. Uh, what else um, besides that? Oh, yeah, I'm excited for the motel because uh, I'm trying to renovate the motel. Besides the the. Where is the motel located? It's right? in the the truck stop in Moapa. Moapa. Yeah. So you own the truck stop. Yeah, I own the truck stop, which is uh, on construction right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the gas station, which is an existing one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an Arco AMPM. So. Okay. I see. So you're expanding. To the uh, truck stop, to have the truck stop. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then uh, the motel is um, we're renovating the motel, and it's going to mm -hmm. be a nice, mm -hmm. um, more on a, I would say a, a contemporary. Um, I would Wapa say is two hours away from here. Cause no, we went it's no, only no, one hour. Only one hour. hour. Mm -hmm. Is that it's one hour? A, yeah, less mm -hmm. than an hour. Param, right? Moapa well, is in between, right? No, no, no. no, no, no. Is uh, going to Utah. Utah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to Mesquite. Utah, Mesquite. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. before Mesquite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Moapa, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes. So correct, you, correct, because yeah. there's a, 
the lake in there. Yeah. We went to Moapa mm -hmm. Lake. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The other one, the Param is totally on the other side. On the yeah. other side, yeah. yeah. The opposite this side. is east. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. Uh, no, yeah. I know because we went to the the lake, right. the, the river. Yeah. Yeah, Luapa. the Palm, the palm, palm Resort. Palm yeah. Resort, yes. Mm -hmm. There's a, a lot of uh, nice place to go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially there's uh, the uh, the opposite end of the the, the Hoover <coughs> Dam area mm -hmm. water. The mm -hmm. the what do you call this? The lake. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's uh, the Indian reservation, reservation there too. Is In there? Luapa. And In that's Luapa. where the Indians have to get their treatments. From uh, Chief Joseph, he said that his family has to go to, to Moapa, Moapa for because the Indian reservation mm -hmm. is there. Correct, yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. So right now you had two gasoline station and you're expanding more. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. But well, yeah. that's your passion. I think I'm so proud yeah. with a lot of Filipinos. You know, I mean, migrated to the U.S. and it's just like Chinese. Mm -hmm. You know, building a business, yeah. business, business. And so this motel will be from the bottom up. It's, uh, it's an old one. It's an existing it's and you're remodeling, mm -hmm. remodeling it right now. And how many units? I got uh, 14 units there. Oh, nice. Oh, it's that's a not bad. good size. Yeah, good um, size. Good size. Yeah. 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 That's a good yeah. size. And then eventually, mm -hmm. if it works well, then I might, I might build a, yeah. a, a real, a real motor. Yeah. Hotel, right. Hopefully. Why yeah. not? Well, that's good to start small because uh, the truck stop, that'll be, f you need 14, at least 14 uh, spaces, stalls. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually, cool. you're creating job to the <coughs> community, not just for the Asian community and its diversity. So that's the beauty about it. If you can build more and bring business more into where you at now, especially in Nevada, not just Nevada, <coughs> maybe you're expanding more. Mm -hmm. So you're helping the community to build definitely. and bring them this house. Yeah, yep, definitely. Especially that area there is a transient point go going to Utah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, uh, I would say, scenery and, you know, the national park, yes, right, state yeah. parks, mm -hmm. are, I mean, the national parks are there too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the Bryce Canyon, we have a, a lot in, uh, even in uh, St. George, yeah. Yeah. there's a lot of places to really, mm. to go. Mm. And so do you spend much time there? More time in Vegas. More time here in Vegas. So you have a separate team to um, in Moapa. handle Moapa. Yeah, yeah, I have a manager there running it. I have an assistant manager running mm -hmm. it. So, um, and do they live there? Or they live there. So I, live there. I usually, I really, um, <coughs> Um, hire the locals. Yeah, someone so who lives there. Yeah. Lives Instead there. of someone who commutes. So that yeah. doesn't cost mm -hmm. them money to yeah. drive gas back yeah. and forth. You yeah, know yeah. I mean? yeah. So but you have multiple shifts, right? It's 24 hours. You said 24 hours, multiple uh -huh. shifts, yeah. 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 So it's... Uh, so the hotel is not functioned yet. Not, not yet. I'm mm -hmm. still But really the gas really station is ongoing. Yeah, it's ongoing. The nice. gas station and the... Uh, AM, PM. Uh, the AM, PM, of course, inside it, it has all the foods that you mm -hmm. want. There's burger there mm -hmm. because that's <coughs> one of the, I would say, um, um, advantage going to an AM, PM. Mm -hmm. they have your, all the food. You own the land, correct? I own the land. I, but I you can build the crispy crunchy separately. Oh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah. If I, there's I, enough I, traffic. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, eventually, yeah. there's a, there's a lot of traffic there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. A lot. A lot of, yeah. wow. more than yeah. the the one here in yeah. Vegas. So you mm. own the land right off the 15. Yep, right I next, own the land. next to the 15. Next to the 15. So it's really a strategic ideal, a, strategic. ideal yeah, uh -huh. for for a truck stop. Mm. Nice. So That's if I good. be putting a truck stop, it would double or triple possibly. Mm -hmm. That's the good. Volume. That's good. Yeah. That's. That's the beauty about it. You're helping the Moapa town. Yep. You're giving them business. You're giving, you know, a job to the people. That That's right. Job. That's right. Yeah. So, so I'm helping the locals. So yeah. especially um, it's going to be better because we're helping the community itself. Right. Right. Uh, <coughs> yeah. right. Now, you're also talking about an airport project. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the airport project because um, because I'm a, a small business, uh, I I was <coughs> certified by the air by I would say the Nevada Unification mm -hmm. uh, Commission that um, they can um, the the head of that um, I would say department of the airport and Nevada per se is also a minority 
first son. Oh, all right, wow. all yeah, right. Yeah, he's also a Filipino. Yeah, yeah. By, by blood. And is the idea to bring in something like uh, crispy, crunchy to yeah, the airport? Yeah, but uh, it depends it? on the their their requirements. Right mm -hmm. now, they are looking for a nutritional food, mm -hmm. healthy nutritional food. So. I am already uh, certified by the airport concessionaire uh, as, a, I would say, a disadvantaged business enterprise mm -hmm. because I'm a, right. a minority. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, I am bidding uh, this coming uh, April 3 for the, a spot on the airport. Oh. So hopefully... So, so maybe uh, you'll do uh, Filipino food instead of... Uh, <laughs> Oh, no, 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 he's not gonna bring chicken. Oh, no chicken. He's no gonna chicken bring for now. Uh, it, it's more on a healthy, healthy uh, yeah. concept, food yeah. concept. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking about teriyaki uh -huh. madness. So oh, teriyaki, teriyaki madness. Oh, Japanese. Japanese. So we're gonna bring the healthy coffee, our healthy coffee. Okay, healthy coffee <laughs> and healthy Japanese food. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Why yeah. not, right? Yeah. So this is a beauty about it, and uh, not much. I mean. Filipino think about all health care, right? Right. You come to Los Angeles, health care. You come to uh, a UMC, they're always like owned by Filipinos yeah. already. In fact, when you go to the third floor UMC, they said, this is University of Manila. <laughs> <laughs> this is not University of, uh, you know, of I mean, Las it's Vegas. Las Vegas. So basically, I mean, I'm so proud with a lot of Filipinos, that, you know, dream to come to the U.S. He doesn't need to come here, but he loves to choose yeah. to be here. But isn't know? there Filipino healthy food? There, there, uh, <laughs> there Or is it just Filipino uh, tasty uh, food? Because <laughs> Filipino yeah. food is so tasty and flavorful. Yeah. That's yes. right, that's right. Yes. Yeah, that's you right. like what I said? Adobe? Yeah. <laughs> Mark said Adobo Monday. chicken. Adobo. Now you can pronounce it Adobo chicken, right? Adobo, yeah. Adobo yeah. chicken. Yeah. So, I, I mean, congratulations, oh, and you. I know yeah. I, uh, it so happened, I said, I said to your wife, Beth, I said, oh, because I know both of you, I said, oh, Edgar's coming out, there he is, and then, yeah. and then I said, okay, Ate, let's go there. I said, okay. I said, oh my God, when I saw your wife, I know you. So, there you go. I mean, well, guys, Chris, Crispy Crunchy Chicken, and um, he owns the gasoline station, so if you guys want to you know check it out the corner El Capitan in West Flamingo mm -hmm. it's actually the name of the gasoline station is Sunoco they have only a little tiny sign uh, crispy crunchy chicken uh, but just go to the gasoline station Sunoco corner El Capitan and Flamingo taste it it's so good so they're not just selling chicken they're also selling gasoline their gasoline is so cheap Imagine the regular is only three ninety five. Wow. So wow, three ninety five. Is that gonna be like that forever? Of uh, course I'm not. Trying right? to, I'm trying to help. That's why I, I'm trying to maintain the the cheapest decent price there. Wow, that is wow. very low cost. Yes. Yeah. So drive there. I know when, when Filipino they Wait, they can save, save a money dollar. Now and join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Call one eight three 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 Bitcoin. That's right, one eight three 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 Bitcoin. To get more information, go to our website. TravelNow777.com TravelNow777.com Call now. Yes, hi. This is Ariel, Ariel Live TV, and I'm actually in a location. Um, I just want you guys to know that our live streamer is can go anywhere wherever you at so let's talk about business let's talk about our travel club hawaii travel club hawaii travel club the only thing you need to do is invite three people sign up for a thousand dollars and you will you can go to hawaii with us this april so angel come with me to hawaii maybe we can go together and also well, so we can film live there. So you can put the commercial. I'm actually here at Silver State Health Services. Can you guys hear me? It's it's actually um,
Attention all travelers that love Hawaii. Save money now and join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Call 1-8333-BITCOIN. That's right, 1-8333-BITCOIN. To get more information, go to our website, TravelNow777.com. TravelNow777.com. Call now. Can you please explain yeah. what you guys have been doing to the community? Yeah, so Silver State Health Services is a nonprofit organization. We started in 2014 and we became federally qualified in 2017. And what that means is that we're uh, sponsored by the federal government to provide health care to immigrants, refugees, low-income families that don't have access to health care. And the whole idea is to reduce the cost for taxpayers because when someone goes into the hospital and they're an immigrant or refugee, uh, the U.S. taxpayers have to cover the cost. And a visit to a hospital will cost sometimes 20 times more than a visit to our clinic. And so if we can encourage people, low-income families, to be proactive in, in their health care, we can reduce the cost of taxpayers. And so we do community service. We're funded by, we get some small grants from the federal government, we get grants from the state, and we get donations from local businesses. So we have a collaboration with uh, the Clark Con County School District to provide sports physicals for the children, and we encourage local businesses to adopt a high school so that these kids can get their sports physicals and stay active in, our, in the school system. Because sports teaches so much about leadership, discipline, responsibility, teamwork, and there's so many great things that come out of sports. So we want our kids to be active, and we don't want the cost of a sports physical to inhibit these children from participating. So the beauty about the clinic, uh, Edgar, yeah. is you can actually send your your family and friends that cannot access health care because it's too expensive. So that's the beauty about oh, the federally funded clinic that they have. They have a uh, regular clinic and they have behavioral and mental health. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. yes, so if you have non-immigrant because they're embarrassed to come and check, you know, the clinic because they are non, you know, many status. Yeah, and so. there are a lot of immigrants that are afraid of immigration being deported, but we don't have any affiliation with those agencies, and so we provide health care to anyone, mm -hmm. um, whether you're an immigrant or refugee, it doesn't matter, or if mm -hmm. you don't have the funds. We have a sliding scale, mm -hmm. but if you don't have the ability to pay, we'll still, we'll still see patients, even on if they can't pay the sliding fee schedule. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good. So, uh, yeah, and also if you have family and friends that are refugees or they have mental health, they, you know, just mm -hmm. maybe at the end of the shows yeah. you can get Mark's yeah. number and yeah. you yeah. can help. The community, what we do is uh, I am Diversity Chamber of Commerce here, mm -hmm. and Mark Silver State Health, he's collaborating with us so that we can actually give a research center. <coughs> that means uh, we have so many couple buy-ins that doesn't have a place to stay also. Oh, yeah. In fact, mm -hmm. I'm housing mm -hmm. several. Oh. Uh, Mark mm -hmm. also is housing several on the Parump yeah. uh, clinic that so they have. So what we're trying to collaborate is Silver State is working with diversity to try to create more housing projects so that we can th take so many people from the street and make sure that they have a place to stay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I hear that mm -hmm. especially the, the housing is really a problem here in, yeah. in Nevada. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a shortage. Areas, yeah. Over 80,000 wow. uh, um, today is needed. Well, and you you can actually help us out on May 13. We will have a uh, fundraising here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and plus that is May also... May 13 or 13? 13. Mm -hmm. Oh, today because is the 16th, really? May. Oh, May, May, yeah, I'm May. Sorry. May. Mm -hmm. May. It's supposed to be May 15th, but May 15th is Monday. That's his birthday. Oh, happy mm -hmm. birthday. So that's a special yeah. day yeah. for him. Yeah, so we're going to have a nice fundraiser in May. Yeah, okay. May 13th. And, and then we're going to do the celebrate on May 15th. But okay. we're going to do two things. So we're going to charge only a little bit because what I find out, uh, Edgar, 
people will come, okay, but they want to come for free. Okay. So they don't want to really support, they just want to come for free and be there. But what we're going to do is, we're going to charge a little bit amount of money, mm -hmm. and then they can just donate. Okay, you know, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Donation, plus if you donate, uh, Edgar, he will give you a tax uh, deferred, right? Mm -hmm. So because they are federally funded, so whatever you donate to the, to the organization, you will get a tax uh, credit yeah. because yeah. they are uh, 501c3. Okay. So any amount, he will give you the receipt. Mm -hmm. okay. that's so that, that's the beauty about it. Plus on me, I give you the, when you do the donation, you get the free commercial, you get all the free advertising. And uh, this is, we are watched 162 countries and also we are watched on all social media. And today you can, your family and friends around the world can watch us right now through YouTube, Facebook, our livestreamer.com in 162 countries. Oh, great. So that's, that's a beauty great. about our network. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, in fact, right now we probably have a lot of viewers. Yes, of course, crisp, crispy, crunchy chicken. I love it. So that's my favorite now. Mm -hmm. I don't eat much chicken, especially uh -huh. because I don't like fried. But this one, you can even tell that there's oil. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So not like, uh, you know, when I buy the chicken, I actually get the tissue paper and I go like this because yeah. there's so many oil. Yeah, because we use a special oil for that. Wow. Yeah, it's not those oil that you can just get it from the grocery. No, mm -hmm. it's a special. It's a, uh, provided by restaurant technology, so wow. they 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 deliver it in bulk. Mm -hmm. They deliver it in bulk, and I have a storage tank there at the gas station. They they pour in how much? Uh, I would say a thousand gallons there. Wow. Yeah, and then the the used oil is also pumped out because mm. it's automatically placed on the other compartment. Yeah, so it's oh. always fresh. It's always, so always fresh. fresh. So yeah. how many times, because when you go to other restaurant, they do the fried chicken, and doesn't taste, sometimes taste yeah, like oil. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's already the, I would say, the, the food oil that has been contaminated already on that mm -hmm. cooking oil. So yes. that's, it yeah. doesn't taste good yeah. anymore. You have to replace it every so often. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So how many times can you use the oil? Let me ask this, alive. How many times can you use oil while usually, doing your uh, fried chicken? Yeah, uh, we usually change our oil, uh, a brand new oil, twice a week. Twice a week. Yeah. Guys, they change their oil twice a week. So now you can tell that the chicken is actually fresh, mm -hmm. that it's not like, as you said, contaminated yeah. because they've been using it more than probably yeah. two and then weeks we filter it morning and evening mm -hmm. uh, so it's a filtration also there's a filtration of the oil so mm -hmm. the oil for your potato and the oil for your chicken are separate yep. correct yep it's separate yeah so the, to maintain the the, the food taste mm -hmm. as yeah. i told you guys i eat two chicken and it's not that big it's a good size and there's no oil yeah. right yeah because i usually do as i said i asked him earlier how I eat mine, I go get the tissue paper and I go like this, press yeah. it hard to remove yeah. the oil before yeah. I eat yeah. it. But I think the other um, is the temperature. The yeah. temperature of the oil is very important as important. well. Important, yeah. That's right. why we, we stick to the quality of oil mm -hmm. and that maintains that temperature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we throw in the chicken, mm -hmm. it won't be staying there too much. Right, mm. exactly. Yeah, so it's it cooks so good. fast yeah. and it's going to be drained out right away. Yeah, well, yeah actually sorry, the, the technology is that if it's hot enough, the steam actually prevents the oil from penetrating the chicken. Right. Mm. So if it's hot and the steam from the chicken will make sure that it cooks, but it doesn't get oily. That's right. If you don't have the right temperature, the oil penetrates, penetrates. into the food. Yeah. That's you know he's a so software engineer, but <laughs> 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 maybe you're trying to do the chicken oil. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to calculate experiment the oil? <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that's, that's the that's science a, behind yeah, cooking. Yeah, that's a nice uh, a way of really um, <laughs> having the scientific way, right? Yeah, yes. he's a yeah. software engineer, it's, it's, but he's in the healthcare. It's a steam <laughs> that, that prevents the oil that's from right. penetrating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
my suit. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't have enough steam, then it... That's right. So, so the fluffy disc... Travelers <laughs> yeah. that love Hawaii, save money now and join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Call 1-8333-BITCOIN. That's right, 1-8333-BITCOIN. To get more information, go to our website, travelnow777.com. Travelnow777.com. Call now. Okay. Hi, this is Ariel. Mark. Oh, and this is Mark. What did you get to say? <laughs> <laughs> Live from my office <laughs> in Las Vegas. Anyway, we're here right now at uh, Silver State Health Services. And uh, thank you for watching Ariel and Mark Live TV. And today we are just talking about how wonderful Silver State Health Services servicing the community, especially non immigrant and refugees and also veterans and also homelessness. Yes. <laughs> so CEO Mark Miaoka is my co-host today. And of course, next to him is Pauline, Pauline Paul. the CEO of Silver State Health Services. And next to me is Brandon Ford. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon by the way, is going to be part of our uh, Hawaiian Travel Club. And of course, <laughs> well, you well. So what do you think about today, Mark? Uh, what is the activities that you have achieved for your Shelby State Health Services? Yeah, it's another stressful day <laughs> in the neighborhood. <laughs> but we're getting a lot of things done and helping a lot of people. So very rewarding. That's good. I know you've been helping the community since yeah. you took over Silver State Health Services and you had a better for the community. Yes. So far, I think we've served 6,000 um, encounters. So. Imagine software engineer to healthcare. Yeah, <laughs> big change. Huh? Yeah. Big change. <laughs> that that's a beauty. So how about you? What what is your actual? Um, you know, I mean, you said your passion is become a oil uh, dealer, and then now in a chicken. And what else? What about you actually? Uh, like like him, he's your a software engineer. What is your education background? background? Yeah, my educational background. Uh, most of the Filipinos are. They are really inclined to, to either engineer or uh, medical. Yeah. So I was on medical. So it just so happened that um, my passion is in business. So from medical to business. So um, for me, I still have the passion for us, uh, I would say, for the medical, more on, I would say, hum human, I would say, caring. Mm -hmm as a medical thing, but um, of course, the, the business is really pulling me up. And that's good also because I am trying to really expand and make some, I would say, contribution of helping the community get the jobs well done. And of course, that's what you mentioned, we have to contribute also mm -hmm. to help the society mm. in general. Yeah. Well, I like that. Uh, hopefully, we can invite you to be part of our Diversity Chamber of Commerce of Nevada because yeah. you would like to educate but implement the our community. We have a lot of homeless, not just homeless in the street. We actually have a homeless family that lost their homes and also they become kicked out with their families. Yeah, you yeah. Know, we have that. But of course we cannot hug and toggle the whole the whole world. It's just little by little, you know, with yeah. collaboration with the other, you know, uh, organization. Of course, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have to help each other 
we have to really focus first on our backyard before mm -hmm. getting out. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And uh, you know what? I'm so happy for you and uh, congratulations. I know you said Thank you're you. going to open more and other yep. cities Hopefully, of yeah. Nevada before you migrate from other states. <laughs> but you said your focus because uh, Nevada, Las Vegas is the best city in the yeah, state that yeah. you think, right? Mm -hmm. It is. It is really the best place to live, to play, and to enjoy. Wow. A lot of people come here, they said it's hot and cold. Everybody's still talking about <laughs> that. It's hot and cold, but they love in here. Yeah. Imagine well, millions. Well, two times a year, it's fantastic. Mm. In in the fall or in the fall and in the spring, yeah. Vegas is amazing. Like this time of the year is yeah, amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just summer that it's yeah, hot. Yeah, summer but is too hot and winter really is too stay cold. Out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just well, three months. <laughs> well, let's talk about the Las Vegas. Do you think so that um, Las Vegas should charge us also a parking parking space? Oh, for the parking Oh my God, spot. You, you can even go to casino anymore unless you have to find a casino that doesn't charge parking. I know. Yeah, but I if know. you have a local ID, you, a lot of times... But that's some, only three hours. Yeah, only yeah. three hours. Only yeah. three hours, and then after that, you pay... Full uh, price. <laughs> where we went, yeah, full, full price. Full price. We yeah. went to Sahara, they charge us $23, just only a couple hours. Yeah, if you go over the limit. You yeah. go over the limit, it's $23. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if the inflation is going to be, I would say, um, be fixed, then possibly there might be some a little bit of changes. But right now, because of the inflation... And no, it's not an inflation. Said, Remember, we shut down for over a year. Yeah, they don't have income. Yeah. They must to take it from every <laughs> residence or any any foreigner who travel here in and out in and out. Imagine that. That's right. They yeah. must to find somewhere else mm -hmm. to get yeah. their money back. Yeah. You know. Imagine they're paying what millions of millions of dollars to That's their right. uh, you know workers to their electric to their gas. So they have to find a way. Yeah. Where to get their money back? And it's difficult. You know, for several years during COVID. People were not working. They were just getting, you know, assistance, government assistance. That's right. And so now, when, you know, things are, it's everyone wants a high, higher salary. You can't buy, you know, higher, low wages. The wages are higher. Everyone has increased the rate. So it's hard. It must be very difficult to yeah, find. Yeah, it's difficult because we, even for us as a businessman. Mm -hmm. we are also affected because we have to raise the, 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 the minimum, the minimum wage. wage. Yes, mm -hmm. You we can't just go with the published minimum wage. Mm -hmm. You have to go with the market, market. minimum it's, wage, it's which is, your, is much what's higher. What's your minimum wage on your gasoline yeah, station? Gas station is $13 per yeah. hour. It's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, too, yeah. too far from so the no, $7. No longer 7 or 8 yeah. It's no. now 13 is the starting point. The starting point, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And in the med medical field, it's even higher. I think yeah. California is fifteen dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I don't think that's the published, right? Mm. That's not. It's just the market rate, the rate because everybody, the fast food, you know, the big um, chains, they're mm -hmm. all starting at fifteen dollars. Right. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. So that's the that's the beauty about it of uh, a lot of Filipinos that you know, had the desire to create business mm -hmm. and they can help. I mean, you, you're helping. I of mean, course, of course. How many employees do you have on your... Uh, I, you I, I get, for the Sunoco, I get around uh, 12 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Moapa, it's around 12 also. Mm -hmm. Are you 24 hours? 24 yeah. hours. So 24 three hours. shifts. Three yeah. shifts. So four for each shift. Morning shift, shift mm -hmm. graveyard, mm -hmm. and lunch shift. Mm -hmm. yeah. The graveyard, of course, is going to be one because uh, there's mm -hmm. not much of activity in the I graveyard. see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that area is not dangerous. So no. Yeah, no, that's on not. El Capitan, that's no. a good area. Yeah. There's not much uh, homeless there. No, no. Even yeah. in Wapa, there's none. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can leave your things there. Nobody yeah. will pick it up. You wow. can leave your cell phone. Nobody will take, take it. it. Yeah. Wow, there. that's a good one. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I think we still have good people nowadays. Uh, when we went to New York, Mark lost uh, his ring. Hi, Darwin. Yeah. Looks, uh, 
Luke's restaurant. Yeah, Luke's Lobster. Lobster, yeah, in Luke's Manhattan, Lobster, New York. Manhattan, wow. New York, right? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, very nice uh, lobster sandwiches, mm. but the butter, you know, uh, made my uh, ring slip off my finger, mm. and and I had lost. This is my championship ring from 1984, mm. so this is a, almost a 40-year-old ring. Wow. And so I was devastated when I lost it. Yeah. And uh, I was not even worried. It's like, oh, I, I called, yeah. And Luke Lobster, the manager, they could have kept it and not said anything, but instead they said, yes, I ha we have your yeah, ring. We your found ring. it. Oh, Actually, wow. we are watch uh, yeah. in New York right now. Jen from uh, Hilton Hotel, uh, Hilton, no, they're not hotel. Hilton uh, owner. Um, it's the club. The club, Hel yeah, Helton Helton Honor Clubs, You're right? Mm -hmm. They're watching. It's a Jennifer, Jen. I told you, make a comment. I said, Ariel, I've been watching your TV every week. I love you. I'll talk to you later, okay? And also Darwin from Luke's Lobster. They're also watching. We have a lot of viewers around the world. And okay. actually, mm -hmm. when I talked to her yesterday, I've been watching your show. I love you. Hey, call me later, okay? We'll talk about the. Uh, Hawaii Travel Clubs. So I want you to be part of it and the Hilton. Hopefully that you guys can be part of the uh, Hawaiian Travel Club. So yes. we have a lot of viewers around um, the world. If you come by, go to uh, Crispy Crunchy Chicken. Yes, on yep. Flamingo in El yeah. Capitan. El Capitan. We're going to open in every corner of Las Vegas. <laughs> We're going to compete all this uh, bad chicken. <laughs> well, no, actually it's true because when I eat today, I told you, I, you know, I don't eat yeah, this much is fried healthy, chicken. Healthy chicken. Yeah. So this there's is, yeah. no oil. Yeah, non-oily chicken. I hope you can maintain that. Oh, thank you. I will, definitely. Yeah, the because, consistency will be there. Yeah, the because if you hire someone, and this is true, right? Some owner already, they didn't, they didn't know that the restaurant has been neglect, you know, because yeah. of the other employee, you know, they intend not to do the proper procedure. That's right. You yeah. know, yeah. So for that's, us, we yeah. usually, um, as a business owner, we always, always maintain our consistency mm -hmm. of product. So mm -hmm. we, we're there all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, monitoring and making sure that it's gonna be, uh, I would say, always maintain quality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, you like it, right? You get. Yeah, I know you're gonna good. eat the yeah. whole thing today. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, I just want to say thank you to Edgar. Uh, I know, uh, Mark, do you still have time? I'm, I'm running about? I'm running low. I, ha I have to leave for now, but okay. uh, well, it, was, um, yeah, it was good uh, meeting you, Edgar. It's a pleasure also. And hopefully I'm going to continue talking yes. to him. Uh, yeah. By the way, um, if you are looking to be seen by the doctor and you don't have any insurance or uh, you don't have non-immigrant status, please check out Silver State Health Services, we're here to help. And they also help all some of the non-organizations, uh, mm -hmm. right? You yeah. come across. And also congratulations yesterday that oh, uh, the Metropolitan yeah, the injured, injured Police, police. Funds, uh, Mindy yeah. Lloyd, give you guys an award yesterday. That yeah, was very nice. Uh, congratulations. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, that's that's beautiful, right? Yes, yeah, so it's, it's going to be nice to collaborate with the Injured Police Fund. They do so much for you know, our first responders, it's not only the police force, mm -hmm. but it's first responders. Mm -hmm. And whether they're injured or, you know, um, meet a tragic uh, event, they're there to support the families. And so they do so much for the community. It, it's true. a real blessing because, you know, our first responders and our police force are so, um, I mean, it's so needed. And a lot of times they're underappreciated. So we just want to shout out and share our appreciation for, you know, the police force and first responders who yes, sacrifice yeah. not only their lives, but, you know, their time and the, their families. Mm -hmm. And of course, shout out to everyone in there. And of course, Dennis is watching livestreamer.com. We are 162 countries uh, that you can actually watch our show in live. We don't do taping. So. If I made a mistake, if Edgar made a mistake, we cannot delete it unless we have to delete the whole show. But anyway, um, Ariel Live TV is every week. Ariel and Mark TV is also every week. That's Thursday and Friday. 
So if you guys want to be filmed on location, let us know. That's going to be live. And also, we're going to be filming our show May 13th. Yes. They're live, It'll be so. a nice event. Well, once again, thank you for joining me today. I know you're busy, and uh, we're going to go for a commercial. Of Hawaii. Save money now and join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Join the Hawaiian Travel Club. Call 1 8333 Bitcoin. That's right, 1 8333 Bitcoin. To get more information, go to our website, travelnow777.com. Travelnow777.com. Call now.